If you want to raise the volume level of your recording, Audacity has several effects to assist with this. Amplify and Normalize does the job of volume control though they have a subtle difference. I will show you both effects and understanding these effects will help you to set the correct volume level for your audio. I will duplicate the track and rename it to identify which effect is applied to which track. Later we will see if those effects make the audio different or work similarly. On the top track, I will apply Amplify effect. A slider on the Amplify effect controls the values of these two input boxes. Amplification dB is the amount of amplification that will be applied to each part of the audio. So every part of the audio will get 9.391 dB of amplification. You may ask how Audacity knew that this audio needed this amount of amplification. Well, Audacity calculates this value from the new peak amplitude from this box. Peak amplitude means the volume level of the loudest part of the audio. You may notice the maximum value on these meters is zero. That means the loudest audio volume level can be zero dB according to Audacity. This is the standard for every audio editing software. I am not going into the details, but remember the maximum volume level of an audio can be zero dB. You can adjust the slider to set a value for peak amplitude, and the amplitude amount will be adjusted here. The controls become inactive as I set the new peak amplitude to more than zero. Because the peak amplitude cannot be more than zero, I will set the new peak amplitude to zero and apply the amplify effect. After applying the effect, the audio's volume level is increased as seen in the waveform. We will listen to this increased volume in a bit, let's apply the normalize effect to the other track. Select everything inside the track and go to normalize effect. Like the amplify effect, you can set the peak amplitude in the input box. So the loudest part of the audio will get this volume level. The other parts of the audio will get the same amount of increase in volume level as the loudest part. Like the amplify effect, you cannot set the peak amplitude to more than zero, and the controls become inactive. Either it has to be zero or any negative value. Normalize effect has other checkboxes such as remove DC offset. With modern recording devices, it is not an issue, but keeping a check does no harm. I will apply these settings. So both the waveform looks similar as I set the peak amplitude to zero through different effects. Let's listen to both tracks a bit. DaVinci Resolve is a good software not only for video editing, but also for audio editing. DaVinci Resolve is a good software not only for video editing, but also for audio editing. So you see, there is no difference in the audio volume. That means both Amplify and Normalize are doing the same job but in a different ways. Both effects are the way to set the volume level of a recording. Though you hear no difference in the audio, Normalize is the standard effect to set the volume level. I have other videos explaining the details of Normalize effect. In general, it is a good idea to normalize to minus 3. Because you will want to keep some headroom in your audio to prevent clipping. I think now you have a good idea of how to increase the volume level of the audio. Thanks for watching and see you next.